Back in Syracuse as the Crunch gets set for the Bridgeport Sound Tigers. Second game of the week for the Crunch. First game this season against the Sound Tigers. Crunch are back in action on Wednesday against the Utica Comets. Here on Countdown to Crunch Time, presented by Supercuts, I'm Lucas Savali with Crunch head coach Ben Grew. Ben, the first game of the new year was on Wednesday against Utica. It was a 4-2 loss against the Comets. What did you see in the game Wednesday night? Well, not very consistent. Uh, I thought we had a very good second period. Damco was uh, was great in that period, but uh, I thought we didn't touch a puck in the third. We didn't show up. So just not good enough. I think Utica deserve uh, their win, and uh, it's uh, hopefully it's something we are gonna learn f from. And uh, we had a good practice yesterday. Thought guys realized that uh, it's not good enough. And uh, we're facing a good team here tonight, so hopefully we're better. And the game on Wednesday, I mean, you mentioned the inconsistencies, but the Crunch still had a chance to tie that game in the final moments there. There was a pretty good look before they scored that uh, empty net goal to, yeah. to put the game away. So at least there was that fight that, you know, you would like to see, I'm sure, in the final couple minutes of that game. Yeah, but too, too little, too late. And uh, it's you, you can't expect to score two goals in the last two minutes with, with no goalie. So uh, it's... Uh, it, it, to be honest, was a disappointing effort for me. Yeah, and uh, we saw just a week ago the crunch against Utica put up 10 goals, and it was a complete effort that game to, yeah. to see the transformation there. But I guess when you look at it, you can when you see this team play a full 60 minutes, you can see what the results can be from this team when it does play full 60. Exactly, and it's it's the preparation of each and every one, and uh, you, you got to show up. And uh, I don't think we show up in uh, Utica. Aren't you getting set for the Bridgeport Sound Tigers? First matchup of the season between the two teams. Yesterday, the news of the day was the naming of the AHL All-Stars. You're already going to Springfield, but now two Crunch players are joining you there. It's Corey Conacher and Connor Ingram. We'll start with Corey, who's been obviously so good. We've talked so much about him since he joined the team late in October. But he is going to his third All-Star game, second in a couple of seasons for him. Uh, what do you think... Corey has done to, to deserve that recognition again this year? For me, he uh, he's simply the best player of the league when he's playing at his best. And uh, that's what he, he showed for a month and a half. Like, he, he carry our team, obviously, offensively. And uh, and uh, so it's well-deserved. Like, he, I don't think he needs any presentation anymore, Connor. I've been saying since they won that our goaltending has been... Uh, Quietly, a big difference for us. I think Connor is. I think he's got four shutouts. He, he's made timely save for us. He's he's won game for us at times. I remember one game in Bingo, which I thought we had no business to win, and we end, he end up with a shutout. So uh, he, he's been good, and uh, we have so many guys that deserve to be there. And uh, so uh, it's, it's exciting for those guys to be uh, part of that uh, all-star game, to be, to be uh, with the best players in the league for uh, a weekend. And uh, it's it's great to see that. Yeah, you mentioned there's so many guys who could be deserving of it. You, we, this week, just pondering who it might be, and there was four, five, six guys who were potential all stars. So, yeah. what does it say about this this team that there are so many? I mean, pretty deserving candidates at least for that that recognition. Well, when you look at uh, Alex Barribule, I think he's the top scorer in the rookies, and it, it's a tough league to break in and have success right away. And he's been pretty consistent. He's, he's the, the rookie with the most point in this league. If one guy deserves to be there, it's him. When you look at Carter Varegi, one top scorer in the league, uh, he's having the career of his uh, a career year, and uh, the progression he's made is uh, phenomenal. So he's another guy that deserves to be there. When you look at uh, Andy Andreoff, Hansung Hero for for our team, obviously Cameron Gons on defense. So. There's there's a lot of guys that uh, do, do, those names are coming up, but there's a lot of guys quietly that have been uh, pretty good for us, and uh, it's uh, I, I don't want to say it's disappointing to for them to do not be there, but obviously it's it's a good league, and it proves that there's a lot of good players in this league, and uh, it's it's not easy to to be on that team and. Uh, it's, it shows uh, how much Connor and uh, Connie contributed to our success. 
but like I said, so many guys were, uh, are, are deserving to be there. It's great for them, obviously, and we know the spots are limited for all-star teams uh, as we head towards the all-star game later this year. It is uh, Counts Out of Crunch Time presented by Supercuts with Crunch head coach Van Gruz. The Crunch are getting set for the Bridgeport Sound Tigers. It is the first matchup of the season between these two teams. Bridgeport, a really good team. They're second place in the Atlantic Division, but they just keep on winning, it seems like, tracking down the Charlotte Checkers. First time, though, the Crunch see this team this year and, and kind of a, a different team from what the Crunch saw a year ago. There's been a lot of changes for Bridgeport. What have you seen from this group when you've taken a look at them? Like you said, they're a deep team. Uh, even though they have players on top, they're, they're still a very good team and uh, they skate well. A lot of a lot of speed, a lot of skills and they, they are well structured and they work hard. So uh, it's we're going to have our hands full tonight. We, we have to be at our best against a team like that. Yeah, what are you hoping to see from your team in, in terms of a response from Wednesday where you didn't have the consistent play, effort? Play our game. Like, I don't think we were ourselves uh, the other night, and it's for us to go back to what we do best and uh, uh, be ourselves tonight here. All right, looking forward to it as the Crunch take on the Bridgeport Sound Tigers. This is Crunch head coach Ben Grew. Ben, thanks for your time, and good luck tonight. All right, thanks.